Feeling overworked this summer? Well, maybe you just need a break from that nine to five job. Do yourself a favor, take some well-deserved paid time off. According to a new report from Sorbet, nearly two thirds of Americans did not use all of that paid time off, the PTO days last year. This trend isn't just a, mixed, a missed opportunity for relaxation. You're also missing out on some serious financial gains as well. For more on what this means for both workers and employers, we've got Vital Ilat Reichel, who is the Sorbet founder and CEO. Great to have you here in studio. Thank you with so us. much for having me. Absolutely. So let's dive into I mean, why, why aren't people taking their PTO? Oh, gosh, you know, we've been tracking this data for a couple of years now. Um, what we're kind of hearing consistently is a lot around optics and our collective kind of cultural complex relationship with the idea of going on vacation. Interesting, though, in the last year, uh, we're, we're hearing a lot more uh, concerns around costs, travel costs, um, you know, general inflation and, and, and prices going up. But uh, but yeah, that that's a huge driver. Uh, this year specifically. I mean, I used to be a huge proponent of the, the staycation, but and, and making sure that I was still using that paid time off. But even if I wasn't going anywhere, just that relaxation, that reset. So as we're thinking about where employees are even navigating through, do I want to go somewhere? Do I want to kind of stay home? How is this changing the type of vacations that they are taking or using that PTO as well? Well, we're definitely seeing a lot more, you know, uh, these trending topics like uh, workation mm. and staycation and things like that. I think at the end of the day, what we need to acknowledge is that taking time off is important. Um, it's it's proven to be uh, helpful with reducing stress and improving productivity and that if we try to glaze over that or try to find like ways to do it, uh, it's not going to be as effective overall. Absolutely. There, there are states and, and you, you've tracked this. You've been able to kind of look across the employment situation, states with worse than national PTO utilization. Which were the ones that stuck out to you? Um, well, overall, the, like you said, 62% of U.S. employees don't use up all of their time. And on average, those employees will leave about a little over 30% of their PTO unused. That's, that's actually a whopping amount. Um, New York is actually a little over the national average, so New Yorkers will uh, leave around 33% unused, so a third. That's almost a week of vacation that they could be taking that they are not. And then just to make you feel it a little bit better, um, you know, we have states like um, California and Illinois who are around like 35% of time unused, and the worst would be North Carolina with over 50% of time left unused. Are we going to be able to avoid, and, and I've heard this tossed around quite a bit, are we going to be able to avoid a burnout crisis? Because this comes directly back to being able to have people feel confident taking their PTO and uh, finding balance as well here too. No, you're, you're absolutely right. I think there are two ways to think about it. One is, as you mentioned, the, the burnout angle. People do need to take time off. It's better for employees and for employers that they do, because obviously over time this could come back uh, you know, to be very, very significant overall. But there's also a financial angle to this. Um, a lot of people kind of are programmed to think about pay time off in terms of days and hours that we can take off in, as vacation. But in fact, PTO is an integral part of our compensation. It has a clear financial value attached to it. And a lot of people don't realize this, but for most employees, if they don't end up using all of their time off, when they ultimately leave their employer, they're going to get paid the cash value of their unused PTO. So people really need to educate themselves around, you know, how much their unused PTO is actually worth um, and, and be very mindful of that portion of their compensation. We got to go. Hopefully there's a one word answer to this. Which generation is doing the best at utilizing their PTO right now? The older you are, the better you are at taking time off. Okay. Sounds like the boomers are doing this quite well. Yes, they are. Vital, oh, thanks oh, so much. Facts. She absolutely right. But go ahead, Jordan. Will you? Yeah. yeah. So this, you know, this is something new for me, something, you know, I, like, well, I'll get to mine, but like I said, I know for, for some of us, we don't use our PTO because some, some companies like to let it roll over. So, uh, for some company, you can roll up to a year. You can add up PTOs. You can take some time off and everything. Um, but yeah, you know, it shows that you know a lot of Americans not using their PTO correctly. So uh, go ahead, Kim. Man, what's your take about you know how you feel about taking a you know personal time off or vacations or anything like that? Me and Ron argue about this all the time. He fusses yep. at me all the time. At one point. I had literally 90 hours of PTO. I never take it. 
I was forced to take it recently. I went to Puerto mm-hmm. Rico. You know that. We've been grinding. I usually don't take vacations. I'm always working, trapping, doing whatever. Now, listening to my brother here and having a heart to heart, I think it's important. And um, to answer, I think it's important. And the only family and friends will make you realize where you won't fall off the deep edge to do that. And I say, I'm going to need to start taking it. But um, I want us to realize some things. A lot of us don't have families. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people feel like where I'm going to go. I have a guy right now who I work with has over 200 hours of PTO. And wow. Some, yeah, 200 hours. He don't take no vacation. He's been there. And I tell him, I say, hey, um, to answer Natasha's question, some companies don't roll it over. They force yep. you to take it or yep. you lose it. So Facts. it's important to just take care of yourself, refresh, reset. I got to go back to run. I got to go back to run. He's been an advocate for this for the long time. I have not. I just recently started a little after him beating me in the head so many times. <laughs> No, it's, I'm being real. I'm not going to sit here and take credit. I wouldn't have went on a trip if he didn't say, yo, you just need to chill out, bro. Just go. We'll be all right. And and you know what I mean? And it, it's that. Oh, look. Look at Just Hear Me Out. I have 300 hours of PTO when it was converted, which um, she capped, so it became a legacy payout. Go ahead. Yeah, um, not only that, but shout out to Just Hear Me Out. I was also in the building. And also the lovely Mimi. The co-host of the Sightsee Avenger is also in the building. Is that look good? In, what happened? I would do the heart, Mimi, but I'm I'm feeling this little one right now. Mimi, so I do it later. <laughs> Mimi, pretty brown, brown, driving me wild. She's out. She like Ronnie red, red. Red is my favorite color. Mimi, and now that's the new Kanye Trio T-shirt. I was so yeah. excited when it came in the mail. So brown, brown. <laughs> listen, listen. I want Mimi to be dripped in chaos, but I don't want to make the gang mad, dude. Oh, yeah, you can't make the gang, yeah, you can't make, make the gang, gang mad. mad hey, hey, dude. And I know my son to ask you what. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Because listen, I'm, you know what I mean? You should do a, a, a Shout thing. out to well, you, you should, No, you should do a show where, you know, you have somebody, maybe a maybe us up there, and then you maybe meet somebody, and we're all rocking some type of chaos comfort radio. Hey, yeah. Shirt, listen, listen. Something like that. Hey. A chaos takeover. Take a Listen. I might design a once an exclusive Chaos X Shiesty Avengers all in one. I might just design something like that. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, hi, Kate. I'll be dope. We were right there, but shout out to Ashley Williams, the creator of the Shiesty Avengers, who is also in the building. And also the lovely Bobby Bryan and the lovely Sherry Bryan is also in the building. Uh, She said, I love it when you sing to me, hi, Kate. Oh, here we go. (laughs) Here we go now. Here we go. (laughs) Hey, baby. Listen, listen. Baby, you a queen. You deserve to be sung to. Broke bread to a nigga paying your rent, buying you shoes, paying you. Nah, nah, don't, don't let her fuck. Don't let her fuck. Don't let her fool herself. Don't let her fool. <laughs> hey, I, hey, listen, you gotta let the queens have it. I'm not, especially her. I feel the same way about Natasha. Feel the same way about Pink. I feel the same. I will all these queens. My half brothers here. Yeah, diary of an angry mixed man. My half in this building. My half brother. I love you, Diary of a Mix, and, and, and hardworking yeah. man. A very hardworking man. Not only that, but not only that, but this, or I heard, I heard, there's a rumor that say this is Mimi's birthday week. <laughs> Monique, I heard, happy birthday to Monique, too. That's her best friend. Happy it was her birthday, birthday last week. Yeah, but uh, listen, it's Mimi's birthday week. I heard, that's the rumor, but I think it's true. <laughs> listen, listen, tell Monique, tell Monique, I've been asking for her, but we ain't worrying about her no more because she stopped showing around. Say, Kai King said that. <laughs> said that, baby. Out of so sight, happy early mind. birthday to Mimi, man. Happy Mimi birthday. We happy early. I think her birthday fall this week. So hey, I know she's hey. gonna be, I know she's gonna be super excited. Hey, listen, Go ahead. Mimi, I know you like them lattes. Let me give you a <laughs> gift card with for them lattes, baby. Uh, uh, no, you, you gotta give a gift card to uh Dust Bros. Dust Bros. She okay. loves Dust Bros. We'll, hey, listen, I will get you that Dust Bros. Mm. <laughs> See that I'll take my comment. <laughs> <laughs> then no, I'm gonna no. take my compliment back. No, no, don't take it back. Don't take it back. No, but um, I let's. Uh, all right, but no, but on the let's get back on the serious seat on the PTO. See that's what I learned because I learned from a wise man. A wise man told me one time, when you die, the company will quit to take the PTO back. So right now, it's pretty much free money. The the company are giving you free money to go on vacation. So go ahead, take that free money and go somewhere nice. 
take yourself out. Sometimes you need a break. Like someone like me who works pretty much every day, not only working here on the podcast, but also working outside of the podcast. I need a break. I be telling her, I can't enjoy it. I be like, yo, I need to take the weekend off. I need to go somewhere and I need to just so now, even I came to me like, Ronnie, take the day off. Yeah, basically. You work too much, take the day off. Chaos will be fine. Just go ahead and do your thing. And when he said that, I was like, you're right. And I and I started using the same method at work. I was like, you know what? If I'm working too much, I'm not a, I'm not Superman. I'm not a machine. I'm going to take the weekend off. Or I'm going to take a whole week off to refresh and then to rejuvenate and to come back. I think you learn to live longer. And not only that, I think it was a study done to say people that take vacation tend to live longer in life than people that don't. Them. I believe so. And, and the number one failure why people don't like taking their vacation, doing it in hiking, is the fear of them not having enough when they come back or to come yes. back to double working. Like, okay, they didn't finish this, so now I gotta catch up, I gotta play catch up game. But it shouldn't matter. Work is work, leave work at leave work at work and be at home and be able to zone out, tune in, spend time with your loved one. But like you said, I came, some people it, I came, I know a guy that got like five hundred hour PTO. Yeah. Let, but let's be real about it. How many of us have families or married? There's a lot of these guys who don't. There's a lot of women who don't, who have to work every day, who are single mothers. I know mm-hmm. my sister at one point was was on that too. She worked majority her time. And it just now, later as her kids got older, she started to travel a little bit more. And you know what I mean? And I think that um, you should need to focus on yourself. Sometimes people frown on t- traveling the only time we're going to frown on it if you're if you're over expending on it yes fact. You, you know that's the only issue we have traveling when it you can't afford to like do something cheap go up the street go across town if you can afford it when you start getting big money then you go overseas yeah that was say that was say it's very important to love yourself the job ain't gonna love you the job Ooh, love for what you do for you do what you do for them but they truly don't love you, so that's Damn, why you gotta love bro. yourself and take care of yourself. No, I learned that because Damn, we all, we all, we all, different. even when we become, we all in success, we all want to be successful because they yeah. taught us that when you to be successful, you don't take no days off. Yeah. But they realize when you become successful, when your body start breaking down, yeah, you start getting cancer, you start getting all these diseases because you don't take breaks. You're not a machine, folks. You're not a machine. I'm saying, learn from the wise, man. Go ahead, Jordan. Yeah, PTO is super duper important. I'm, you, how can you have a point, especially like uh, people that work in their twenties, really don't have a family, you know, don't really have, don't really have the money to travel too, you know, once you, as you're young as well. So what you do is you'll say you, so for for some companies that you have your PTO, you can roll roll over, you know, you could you don't have to take a work uh, take a vacation year and a year and a half. You have someone saved up. I did that one time when I was at working at Whole Foods. I had so much PTO that you know there was a time. That I took like a month off, my month off. I took a month off. I remember. And remember that? I remember. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I remember. yeah. And, and the thing, it was like I said, it was the perfect timing. Like I said, there was no no um holidays around the area, so I had a window right there. You know, I went to Chicago and went back to Michigan uh, to go to my grandmother's funeral, and um I went to Tennessee for a music festival, and you know I and I, at the time I was like what 25, 26. I'm like yo. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I won't have any, any money left. And once I did everything, you know, I, I managed, you know, have some some money left over from that that month and everything. So I saved maybe a couple hundred dollars from that month too, which I was so amazed. So, yeah, what it, like I said, I understand people in their twenties. You know, you don't have any family and everything. We don't have no money. So, which you know, I think the smart thing to do if you at that age is to save money. But now, if you have a family that age too. Or you know, work in your thirties. I know in my thirties is like I I don't like working overtime like I used to in my twenties. I feel you know I feel like overtime is worthless now. I might do a little here and there, but when I get older, I get wise. It's like I don't want to go overtime. I'm gonna come home with my my daughter now. For me, you know, now for me, like I said, where I'm at now, I do have a cushion. I do have sick PTO, which you know I can you know use anytime, and that's every year. You know that's that's California law. And then I'm in a union. I do get um, uh, personal personal time, which I have, nice. maybe, which I have like three weeks of. So mm. you know, if I need, if I need to take personal time off, a death in the family, whatever, I, I have that right there. And then also, um, even though my job they do a vacation week, so I do have two vacations uh, starting on my anniversary day that I work. And uh, and I'm like, you know me, I'm like me, I'm gonna wait till next year. 
Because remember, uh, earlier this year, I took two months off from work, mm-hmm. off the podcast and everything. So with that, with that whole thing, you know, I was like, okay, since I'm gonna do that, push, push, uh, push my two weeks for next year, early next year, which I'm gonna take the week off of my daughter's birthday, go to Michigan, and then also I do, and then also I'll get an uh, additional two weeks for my next year anniversary, which will be, you know, uh, four weeks. So with that, it's like, okay, I can manage that, you know, go to, I was going to go to take, uh, like I say, go to Michigan for my daughter's birthday for family. And then that was another one I was going to do a family trip to Orlando. And then the third week, the third week I have time, I might have summer. But anyways, if you got vacation time, if you have the PTO, use it, use it. And like I said, make sure you, you know, you read the company, look, the company, uh, the book, and see, you know, how PTO works for your company because there's some companies that you can't roll that you can't roll over PTO, but there are some mm-hmm. companies that they say, Hey, you got used to this year. We know this year, you know, it's gonna go away, you're gonna get you fresh new ones as well. So please, people, you know, take time off of work. You know, work is not your life, you have your life out of work. So mm. I know for me, what I like I said, when I clock in, okay, it's work. When I clock off, I don't think about nothing about work. I don't want them calling me. Don't call me. <laughs> Don't call me. <laughs> Don't clock out. Do not call me. I'm with my family. I will block I you. Call me. I will block I you. Call me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, hey, the, the, last point. Point, the last point I want to tell people is this. Get your finances together so when you need to take a day off, take a day off. If you're not feeling it for the day, if you wake up in the morning and it's not it, Jordan spoke correctly. He did. Well, it's not your life, man. If you feel sick, take the freaking day off. We have to do that, bro. We're getting older. Life is about people and time, not about money. We're going to make money regardless. God has always been able to provide. But once we're not here anymore, we're not. I thank everybody here, all 15 of y'all, to come watch. You've given me your time, and we appreciate that. So we give you our time because we love doing this. And we want to spend it with y'all. So please take care of yourself. That was it. That was it. Very important. Taking them days off. Because remember, some people, when they're gone, they're going to take it right back. <laughs> now, tell some company that do pay you out after you get terminated or leave the company. They say, hey, here's the level from your PTO. But majority of majority companies, they take it back. Yeah. Because they say, hey, this is free money. We want you to go on vacation. They want you to go on vacation. Don't just go. So, and, and, like and, I can say, take your day off. Go ahead. You, if you have one of them managers that give you hard problems to take a day off, make sure you stand, stake your stand and say, hey, I need my time off. Because there are some managers that's like, I don't think you have enough or you can't take this week off. No. Fight for it to take that damn day off. If you, you gotta go no, to, I agree. If you got to go to uh, store leadership, talk to store leadership, say, hey, I need time off, man. Like, like the man that said, hey, I need this time off, please. I do love here. I do love my job, but I need 